One of the most fundamental things to understand when working with a building automation system is how to wire and configure the hardware. The KMC Conquest BAC 5900 series BACnet general purpose controllers offer great flexibility and customization for use in a wide variety of applications. These include equipment such as air handling units, central plant systems, hot water systems, chilled water systems, and many other applications. Wiring a BAC 5900 series controller can be different than wiring controllers from other manufacturers, so let's walk through the process. In this video, we'll show you network wiring and inputs. In other videos, we will explore outputs, expansion modules, adding a room sensor, and powering the controller. Let's begin with wiring the controller to a network. This BAC 5901 controller connects to the network via Bacton over IP. This model includes two Ethernet ports with a built-in switch, allowing for easy daisy chaining on the network. So, from the previous control on the network, plug the Ethernet cable into one of the ports. Then, to daisy chain to the next controller, plug the other cable into the second port. We also offer a backed over MSTP version, where the two Ethernet ports are replaced with an MSTP terminal block. When wiring to backed over MSTP network, you will have three wires make sure to use 18 gauge twisted shielded cable for your network. Assuming this controller is in the middle of a network, start by connecting the negative A wires in parallel with all other negative A wires on the network. And likewise, connect the positive B wires in parallel with all other positive B wires on the network. Also, connect the shields of the cables together at each device. Once joined, insert into the appropriate terminals on the controller. At one end of the network, it is important to connect the cable shield to a good earth ground to avoid network interference. If the controller is at either end of a backed in MSTP network, turn the EOL, or the end of line switch, to the on position. Your controller is now connected to the MSTP network. Now, let's look at wiring the inputs. Since this is a BAC 5900 series controller, all of the inputs and outputs are universal, meaning they can be used for either analog or binary signals. Looking at the inputs on the bottom of the unit, we see UI for universal input and GND for ground. When wiring the inputs, always make sure there is no power to the unit. The inputs consist of two wires, a signal wire and a common wire. Working with this first terminal block, insert the signal wire into the UI3 terminal and the common wire into the adjacent GND terminal. The common wires for inputs in the same terminal block can be grounded together in the same terminal. Thus, the common wire for UI4 can go into the same ground terminal as UI3. And that's how you wire the network and inputs for a KMC Conquest BAC 5900 series controller. To learn more about wiring similar products and exploring the other solutions from the building geniuses at KMC, please visit us on the web at kmccontrols.com.